so uploading this video again because it's randomly deleted off my channel didn't even get an excuse or a message on to why it's deleted but since i'm going to upload again i was going to put it in the description but i guess i'll just say it myself i went to court against this cop that happens to be a hostage negotiator which i eventually found out later on i went to court against him for almost a year and was humiliated by cops judges and jurors um, because i decided to go to court against a cop and when i would take the stand they would ask me humiliating questions to try to ruin my credibility in front of the jurors and to make the story short what this really happened on this day was that this cop was going to either rape me or do something to me and i mentioned this when i took the stand at court and that's what got him really mad this officer tried making me stop on a dead end street where no cars pass by it's very lonely there's not a lot of people there neither in this dead end street there's a few houses but nobody really comes out because it's a dead end street so in my mind i figured if this officer is trying to pull me over and he's going to be a good cop he will understand that it's for my safety and his safety too that i park in a public area so instead of me parking where he thought or where he was kind of guiding me to go park at towards the dead end instead of going there directly i took a sharp turn and i parked into a public park where people actually know me because i take my baby there and i figured if this cop is in it for his for good intentions he won't mind he'll come to the truck and he'll ask nor like any normal cop for the license registration etc and i'll show him those things then but the minute i parked in the public park he went to my truck mad to the point where he was already instigating a situation to drag me out of the truck because he was mad that i didn't pull over the dead end street that was the real reason to him arresting me because when he got to the truck he never explained to me why he was pulling me over nothing all he did was get out of the truck get out of the vehicle so i like any normal person would i asked may i know why you're pulling me over and he said are you refusing and i said i'm not i just want to know and that's when he dragged me out so i'll never forget this day how the cops in the courtroom knew the perpetuating officer that they have and they all went along to humiliate me while i was on that stand because they didn't want me to say this they even lied they my public defender cried when they wouldn't allow her to use evidence he would try saying that he tried every single way to make himself look like the victim saying that when i didn't remove the keys out of my vehicle that he thought it was a weapon and that's why he dragged me out he he said all the excuses in the book but i wasn't allowed to say that i was afraid of this officer that i was afraid to pull over on a dead end street where nobody was going to be able to see what was going to happen to me i i wasn't allowed to say that i wasn't allowed to say that i could have been scared too and that that's why i parked in the public so to this day i'm going to always think that this officer wanted to rape me that day because that's where his anger came and only him and i know that that's the reason why this happened that day this would have never happened if i would have pulled over to that dead end street but since i didn't he came right away to attack me and he instigated the situation 
so that I could look like the bad guy. So I'm gonna play it again. Yeah, sir, but man, that's, that's so. Yeah, I will. I will. But why did you get pulled over? 